this batch of reamers uh, are adjustable reamers and they can be uh, used when you have in between sizes and you don't have a reamer to fit it and uh, there's a, a nut and a screw on the end and you can expand them out a little bit within their range. Now, there isn't a great range but maybe it's a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch for each one of these. Handy to have around when you're in a pinch. Not a big fan of them. They are relatively delicate so if you try to take too much off you can bust up these uh, uh, cutting edges on them and uh, these all are used ones that came from an auction. I don't think I would bother to buy any but uh, often are used in uh, electric motor shops to make a shaft fit into a bearing when they're putting in, in new bearings. Several different kinds of those adjustable reamers. They can uh, they are usually hand reamers and are uh, with evidenced by the square shank. This device is a floating reamer holder. Got a three quarter inch reamer in there. It's a taper shank and uh, this is a taper shank to fit in a tailstock or in a drill press. The tang has been broken off. This is a used one I picked up someplace. But a floating reamer holder allows the reamer to uh, float just a little bit so that when you're drilling in, if you're a little bit off on your tailstock or however you're holding the reamer, it can uh, float into position. Otherwise, as you bring a reamer into the work, if it's coming in at a bit of an angle like this, you are plowing and it's definitely going to ream oversize. The purpose of a floating reamer holder is to prevent that. Often used on uh, turret lays and that type of machinery where they're uh, drilling and, and reaming a lot of holes. Very expensive. It would be a hundred dollars, several hundred dollars probably for one of these. And they're made in different sizes. Probably not something you need to worry about. Just thought I'd present it. And Here's a little tapered reamer that's called a repairman's reamer. And it's, uh, they make these in different sizes. This is kind of a small one and I lost the handle, but very nice for uh, enlarging holes in sheet metal or uh, real thin metal. And you'll see these in, in bigger sizes, called a repairman's reamer. Also, pipe reamers are tapered like this. They're much larger, but they're used after you uh, cut a uh, pipe with a pipe cutter, and that kind of closes or pinches the end of a uh, galvanized pipe, and uh, this allows you to get that uh, burr out of there, the ream it, so that you have full flow of water or gas or whatever it is flowing through the pipe. Here I have a pile of tapered hardened machinist pins. They're kind of like uh, dowel pins, but uh, they're tapered. And you drive them into a hole to hold a pulley on or whatever the application uh, is. But in order to uh, uh, drive those in, you have to ream the hole with these tapered reamers that are uh, made especially for the job and the numbers have to correspond to the size of the pins. For instance, the one I'm rolling here is a spiral fluted number five and that would allow you to, well you first have to drill the hole and then you would ream it and then drive in the pin of this, this also a number five, but they would come in different lengths. Not too common of a thing anymore, but you can still buy these at any hardware store, but the reamers I don't know where you'd get them. In my hand I have a couple of reamers. Uh, the big black one is a 9 16 but uh, they come in very small sizes as well as evidenced by these two smaller ones and the real little one there is uh, is about a 3 30 seconds but they come even much smaller than that so you can get reamers in just any size imaginable. In review, a reamer gives you an accurately sized hole. Also, it gives you a hole with a good finish. If you ever uh, would take a cross section of a hole that you have drilled in mild steel and could really examine the finish, you'll find it to be a horrible finish. Conversely, if you would do that with a reamed hole with a sharp reamer and, a, and it was done properly, you're going to find a nice smooth hole. 
Okay, this concludes uh, video one on reamers. In the next one, I'll do some actual reaming for you. Tubal Kane saying so long for now.